Good morning, Scrappy people. Um, this is Scrappy Kathy, and I'm in a mixed media frenzy today. Um, I'm hoping that this goes quickly. I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but we'll see where it leads. Um, this week we're working from a sketch, and let me see if I can find that sketch. The sketch is this one, and I'm seeing just a real frenzy of kind of grungy mixed media around with, you know, your choice of colors. Um, I like this uh, kind of newsprint look and the little uh, black stars, kind of, you know, the large black title. So we're going to see where we go with this. I'm not going to um, overthink getting it just like this, although I have printed and arranged my photos um, in the same way that they've got theirs. These are uh, senior pictures of my granddaughter Katie, and she's getting ready to go to art school, um, the Atlanta uh, Art Institute, to study uh, film and and fashion design, and there's a burgeoning, uh, well, actually a pretty well-established uh, movie industry in the state, and particularly in Atlanta, so there should be some, uh, some opportunities for her with that uh, degree. So, gonna, I printed them in black and white. These actually came from the photographer in black and white. I converted this one. The tones are a little bit different, so I and it's a different type of photo, so I put it in the middle, so hopefully that's okay. And you, some of you may remember when I was doing this page for Mixed Media Frenzy, I think it was just last week, uh, this was Katie taking a driving lesson at the park, um, I did a practice run and decided to go with different colors, and, and but I, I tried with the gold paint, and I didn't like what I did, so I used the other side of this for the gold paint that I really used. But what I did was I took a, before I put the label on, I took a photograph of this with my phone and had it available for digital manipulation. I turned it on its side I think that's, yeah, turned it on its side, and you can kind of see it here with those lines. And then I added one, two, three digital elements over it, and then a frame from the same collection. And I apologize, I can't tell you the name of the collection. I believe it's, well, I'm not even going to guess, but I will mention it in the... Um, uh, in the video comments when I, or description when I upload it. So, this is my grungy look now. What I liked is it had this newsprint. That's why I chose this particular element. And there's newsprint that's all around. There are big black splashes. There's this um, yellow that uh, superimposed over the blue and with some adjustment in opacity I kind of got it to look a little green I'm afraid that's going to end up getting covered but there's some black stitching here and just globs of paint all over what there isn't is any pink so I've mixed up some milk paint it's Imaginese milk paint I got it in a mind the scrap kit couple months ago. I'm going to spray some more water in there. I'm just going to splatter some of this around. It's not only going to add color, but it will add texture because it actually comes out very... Let me add a little more light to that so you can see. It, it uh, maintains its opacity and, and thickness. 
So it's really gonna stand out from all of this, which is printed. So I, I had this digitally, I brought it into my word processing system, added the other digital elements to it, and, um, and then printed it on 12 by 12 paper. So that's what I'm working on now is 12 by 12 printer paper. I want to add some gold. I'm going to do this quickly and then I'm going to kind of have to set it aside to dry. I've got, I like the gold splatters for a little bit of, of shine. Again, changing the um, kind of the texture. It, it will stand out a bit. This looks like black going on, but it's the color is tinsel, and it actually ends up being, uh, it's very metallic, so it's a, um, um, a kind of a tinsel color. Of, it, it's a, it shines. It has a sheen different from a silver, but um, also very different from black. So that's my finished mixed media palette. I'm going to add some elements to, because I added that pink, I have the reason I added the pink, let me say that. I, I'm actually just, I'm, I'm kind of in a, this is a little different from what I usually do on this series, but um, when that dries, I'm going to lay it on this. It's, when I print, there's a border around, and I cut that border off, and I didn't want a white border, I wanted a, a black border on this. So that's what that's gonna look like when I get ready to do something with it. So I've got this photo, I have, these um, cocoa vanilla flowers, and I took a black ink pad and kind of grunged them up. I grunged up some uh, Vicky Booten butterflies from one collection, and then these uh, butterflies on top are um, simple stories, I think, that were cut from some cut apart little little cut apart sheets and I chose those because they kind of looked like they were mixed they were watercolored let's say and uh, so I, I like those I may go in and if the colors look too disjointed from what else is going on I may um, I may use a, some watercolor pens and do something uh, with them that way so I'm going to try to build my photo cluster. This photo cluster isn't going to have the usual elements that a photo cluster might have, but I'll try to build it ahead of time so that we can just place it on there. I know that my... Um, My journaling is going to go, well, I'm not sure where it's going to go. I do know that I wanted these, um, and of course I dropped something and I have to reach down and pick it up, and hopefully that wasn't too disjointing. Here, let's uh, think this one is the one that can go here. And then I've got this one kind of underneath it. And I'd really like, yes, this one is going to be, uh, I've, I've attached foam pads to the back of this. And I want this one attached to the foam and the other one will be on the, there. The other one will be on the page. So it'll be, there will be some dimension between them. Um, actually, that's 
there. What I want is for this to be here. I actually did that the opposite of the way I wanted, but you know, it's not gonna be a problem. So this orangey color will show here and that's going to um, that's going to look a little bit more um, appropriate to the the color scheme there. I want the butterflies not all clustered around the photo. Okay, so that's probably. I'm going to try to decide on the title. I'll have some decisions to make. I found, uh, I, I like the, the uh, font here, and I thought I could use this word today as the title. I've got this word celebrate that's also in a nice font, but I'm, I'm thinking it may be too big, so I'm going to reject that. Um, I've got this go girl, but the fact that it's two words is bothering me, and I don't think I'm going to like that. Uh, let's see. But today is, um, is I'm liking today, and I really like these little things here, but I don't know that this is the appropriate page for that. So I'm gonna put those aside as well. I've got this to be continued, which I think is a great title. And since she's getting ready to go off to college, um, it would be appropriate. I like this word, darling. So far today is still in the running. I've got this one that says smart, and it's gold, and I just added some gold, but I don't think I added enough of the right kind of gold to go there. I've got uh, beauty and pretty and nah. I, again, I can't be sure that's the right gold. So if I use the title, I may just let Dad, You Are My Hero be the title. And, and that would be fine with me. So i tell you what I'm gonna do. This is still wet. The pink paint, I think, is what's wet. So I'm going to kind of dry fit, or wet fit, place things on here, and then you'll see the finished product later. I'm probably gonna put the photo a little bit down so that these uh, flowers are close to this orange, and I let a lot of that come up at the title. I probably will um, scatter the butterflies around. Uh, you'll see them. There will be, there are three of them. I probably will put this green one, and as I expect, suspected that green is not going to show, but this kind of grayish color right here has a green tint to it, so I may do that one there. This one has a little different background. It's a there, and maybe Here, I don't want to corrupt too much. And I have these little cork pieces. I've got this love you to bits and pieces um, that kind of could go here, and I'll probably pop that up on some foam. Um, this is a, you know, hard to believe she'll be graduating and moving on to Atlanta Art Institute. So I think I'm going to group it like that. I'm going to add these cork pieces around. The, it's a, it's, they're broken, but uh, still usable. And I think the material 
it kind of adds something to that. So that's going to be my page. I'm going to let Dad, You Are My Hero be the title because I really don't want to put that word today on there. And this is clearly a frenzy of mixed media. And I wanted to do some of it wet on the camera, but then I run into this kind of, of problem. But I... I think I kind of love it. And it all came, <laughs> it all started with a, a test piece. And in, in real life, this test piece is um, metallic uh, acrylic paint. And the metallic kind of translated to um, a brighter, prettier blue there. So I did part of the background, some mixed media artists, Digital artist did the rest, um, but I've got grungy feminine images here, and it's perfect for my beautiful, artsy granddaughter. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll post everything after I get it all glued down, but it should look pretty much just like this. Bye.